come back to Red Ted Art. Can you guess who we've got here? If you're a Tsum Tsum fan, you will recognise this as Donald Duck and Daisy Duck. Yes, we finally made a Donald Duck and a Daisy Duck Tsum Tsum bookmark. Now, um, quite a few of you have asked for Donald Duck. Now, this is obviously a simpler version of Donald Duck, but I think it's one that you can do. So come on, let's take a look and see how these oh-so-cute bookmarks are made. So we're going to make Donald today. Daisy Duck is made exactly the same way, apart from that she has a different decorations. But let's get on and make Donald. As per usual, a half a sheet of A4 paper, and we're going to turn it into a square by folding over one edge as neatly as possible. Give it a good crease. Cutting this bit off, you can keep it because you can still use it for other things or as a note for little notes. Bring the pointy corner up to the fat corner or the right angled corner. Another neat crease, another pointy corner up. Another neat crease. Open it up, pull one of the flaps down, bring this one back up and tuck it under, bring this one back up and tuck it under. There we go, nice and easy. Your basic corner bookmark is complete. Now I'm going to take something circular, in this case I'm taking my Minecraft um, not pencil case, pot holder, and I'm going to put it over my bookmark as even as possible and making sure it overlaps the top edges because if, if it doesn't you're going to end up cutting off too much um, you know it's got to overlap here and here because you need these edges for it all to stay together now I'm going to cut this out so I've got a rough circle like this here we go and now on this one, you'll see it's actually slightly thinner because the tum tums aren't actually round. So you just need to cut off another little bit at the bottom kind of to make it a bit more overly. I just use my other one as a guide just because I want my two bookmarks to be the same size. But to be honest, it's not that exact. <laughs> as always, it's a bit of experimenting. Right, now I need two little feet. So I'm gonna take my little scrap piece of paper back, fold it over, cut two like rectangles with a rounded top. There we go. And then I can glue these on. Now there's some, some feet sort of stick out to the side a little bit, but we'll stick it all on at the end, I think. Cut out a beak, which is um, basically sort of an oval shaped roundness. And again, sometimes I end up having to cut two or three of these until I kind of feel like I've got it right. I think this might be a bit too small actually. But this is what's quite good about doing the cutting and sticking. Oh, actually, that's okay. Is that if you cut and stick, you can kind of check whether things are looking right before you stick it on and you haven't kind of ruined your um, the work in progress. Now I'm gonna make a little bow tie so I'm going to draw a circle and then just like two flaps on either side, cut that out. Now you can leave this, the, the bow tie off if you want, I don't think it has to have it. You don't always see the, the little bow tie on the Donald Duck, it depends on the angle. It's all really small, isn't it? little bit of tie, stick it on in a minute. Then we need his hat. So the hat, I might use a pencil first, has got sort of this, like a bit of a bean shape, isn't it? Like that. And then it comes down and has this bit dangling. And I want to have that in black. So I'm going to cut, so I'm going to just copy out my, there we go, the outline. Have a bit of black here and the little tag. Hopefully that'll do. We'll see in a minute once we've cut it. Like that. Whether it looks good. Let's cut that 
out. done. Oh, I think that's so cute. Really happy with that. Just needed to add a tiny bit of black here so I can see a bit of the blue peeping through. Let's glue it all together and then we'll add the eyes. So I'll start with the beak. So you can feel the line of the, uh, you know, the back of the bookmark. I put the beak just on that line or maybe slightly below. So here's the line. There we go. Then I put my little feet kind of to the side. A little bow tie. It's quite nice, the hat and the bow, they kind of hide the fact that you've not got a perfect round shape, but I don't think you notice it that much anyway. And then the two eyes, and then we're done. Let's have a look, so cute. Oh no, the eyes and some rosy cheeks. Aren't they adorable? Really simple, isn't it? So if you love some sums, you love Donald Duck. I think you'll love this little bookmark. Now I want to do one little th last thing. I'm not sure yet if I'll definitely do it. I just want to see what it looks like. And if I like it, we'll do it. And if I don't like it, we won't do it. Which is, can you guess what I might be doing? I want to see what it looks like. Sometimes you can see a little bit of hair poking out. Yes, I think we want it on our some, some Donald Duck. Sometimes it's all smooth, so it's kind of, again, it's a preference, personal choice. Here we go. Little cheeky bit of hair, and we're done. That is how very easy it is to make your own Tsum Tsum Corner bookmarks. Lovely, aren't they? Daisy and Donald Duck. Anyway, don't forget to add this to your playlist, comment, subscribe, Watch the whole video, all that kind of stuff, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye!